going to talk about the soft TG relaxation and also soft TM relaxation. But most most important one is the soft TG relaxation from this uh, chapter twenty. And uh, here I'm just going to show you the the shear modulus. Uh, this is a shear modulus, the G, you know, log scale, and this is a temperature T. Okay, so you can see that the modulus is quickly drops. And that's for the polystyrene. So you you know that what happened to this temperature, the significant drop, in and that's uh, at the glass transient temperature. Okay. So the uh, and then if you do the DMA, this is a DMA, in dynamic mechanical analysis, and you are measuring the tan delta, and then that's also the log scale here. And if you measure the tan delta here, then, then you will see that. Um, at around the TG, this is a alpha, and then there's something called beta, gamma, and the delta. So those are the uh, those are the uh, different soft TG relaxation, and uh, what people uh, name that is uh, essentially consequences of uh, the whatever the 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 most uh, biggest uh, uh, highest temperature that you normally alpha, and uh, for the Glassy polymer, TG, glass transient temperature is the upper relaxation. And then the sub TG relaxations can be, you can just say beta, gamma, delta, uh, and then this is a higher temperature. Okay, so it's just the sequence, and then the, I guess the alpha is a, if you want to call it, that's the highest temperature for the relaxation. So that's the glassy polymer. And sometimes the people has the what that uh, means, and and uh, this beta relaxation, they also f do that. And you know this the this is a tan delta is a DMA. Uh, essentially, you have to define the frequency. And they find the beta relaxation is a frequency dependent. And essentially, beta merges with, uh, beta merges with up, huh? <laughs> Alpha relaxation. At high frequency. And I think the high frequency means something like, for example, 100 hertz. And this is all has <laughs> something to do with the motions of the polymer chains and, and so on. <laughs> and people uh, measure um, and they change the polymer chemistry. They sometimes they find out um, the you know the the this is a lower temperature. The lower temperature it goes. Uh, it has a uh, related to the much smaller motions of the segments, and the polystyrene. They find out gamma relaxation, is related to the head to head uh, the vinyl polymers, which is a uh, sometimes a. Uh, this is a way that they're supposed to happen, but sometimes uh, they make mistakes. Polymerization make mistake. If they to have a head-to-head -head portion, then from this motion uh, is related to the uh, gamma relaxations, and that's what they find out. <coughs> okay, so this is a uh, quite common, and in the case of the semi-crystalline polymer, so this is the second case is. It is a semi-crystalline, 
and they essentially by comparing high density polyethylene versus low density polyethylene comparison as you know that low density polymer has a lot of branches right a lot of polymer branches on branches so it has it looks like polymers or branches on branches so that's more like a uh, chain architectures of the low density polyethylene a lot of branches whereas the high density is more like like this with a little bit of some mistakes but typically uh, very straight chains <coughs> and and then when they measure the tan delta versus uh, uh, the temperature the good reference point is uh, high density polyethylene so there's a little tiny peak and then there is a peak right there okay so <coughs> And, and this one is essentially related to the glass transition temperature, but the highest temperature is essentially the melting. This is a this is a melting temperature, Tn. And if you're looking at the low density polyethylene, there are the the motions in the chains are there's a lot of subchain motions there, and then you will see. There is alpha, there's a beta, and then there's a gamma. So the high density, low density has a similar TG, but they have a, even some some motions that are related to the beta relaxation only for only for low density polyethylene. Okay, so this is I think that this has something to do with uh, a lot of motions coming from the branching it so we we people do not and then they they have a lot of theories there but there is a lot of motions uh, be due to this branching it and chain end is more significant so there's a lot of chain end and that motion is probably related to the <coughs> something the uh, beta and this is a uh, actually to be to be clear this is not melting but alpha or uh, upper prime or upper prime is a pre pre melting behavior when it's melt actually you cannot do the DMA experiment so you cannot do that they just uh, do do enough uh, before and then they have a pre melting kind of a transition sometimes and uh, the, um, this is a pre melting transition for low density polyethylene this is a pre melting transition alpha prime for high density polyethylene I think the one of the something that you you want to know is the beta relaxation is is pretty unique for the low density polyethylene.